Hello. So you're asking yourself, what is all this stuff I've got going on here? Well, I've got two instances of OBS running. As you can see here, I've got an instance of Mad Mapper right here. And I also have a terminal screen um, for stuff down there. What this is, is a new, I think it's 44 walls, or I'm sorry, not walls, but 44 TV. A 44 TV matrix video wall controlled by one computer. Um, there's six, 12, 24. Oh, and then we have all these running two different streams all the way around this bar. It's pretty insane. It's the biggest matrix video system I've done before. And um, it's using 45 Raspberry Pis, a Mac Pro, or what is this? I don't even know what it is, an iMac. Um, and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go through this in more detail at some other point. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all using Raspberry Pis. And um, it's using one RTMP server. It's also using two instances, two instances of OBS. Each one streams to the RTMP server um, so that all the Pis can stream from the RTMP server. No, it's not multicast. I'm doing all unicast transmission of video here. Yeah, I could do multicast and it might be a little bit more efficient, but it seems like it's working. So, but anyway, the, the whole thing is run by Mad Mapper. Mad Mapper is driving all the video for this right now. At some point we might add in module eight or something else. I mean, it's a club, so we're, we're doing club things. Um, but the idea here is that uh, I have two projectors set up. They're both outputting siphon. Um, if we go to, if we go to uh, the projector section. So if you, if you click on either one of these and they're just 1080p projectors set up in here um, or, you know, 1920 by 1080 projectors. There's an option to publish to siphon. So I just, I'm publishing both of these to siphon. And then over on OBS, I have two inputs uh, per, per OBS um, instance. So I'm running two instances. So you see down here that OBS has added this game capture um, input. And if you go to properties, you'll see I, I, I chose the Mad Mapper Projector 2 source, which kind of matches over there. So that's how that's getting, and it's not over the network. I could have done it over the network, but um, that would have been a lot much more work. But I'm running it all on one Mac. Um, so, and then, then the other question that, that I had that came up was, how do I, how do I, how do I do, communicate to all the pies at the same time instead of just leaving them on all the time? Um, well, I just run this, this PSSH command here. So that's kind of the command, that's the actual command that I'm running. And the, the way the syntax of this works is PSSH dash H um, back wall is a file, uh, a file similar to this. It's got all the pies in it. And what this does is it SSH is, it SSHs to each of the pies in that list. And there's two lists, one for the back wall over the bar, and then one for the, the vertical, or I'm sorry, yeah, the vertically aligned TVs that are out in the dance area. So this one calls up that back wall, it SSHs into all the pies, and then it runs the famous pie wall command. And like, like I said, I'm not doing a UDP, I'm just straight PM, PW OMX player dash A, RTMP, and then the, the, the address and everything. 
Another thing to note is that none of the pies are on the internet. Uh, it's, it's an all, maybe I could walk back here and show you this back closet. It's all on this one switch. It's a uh, 3560. The Mac, of course, is plugged into the top. Um, the top gig port, there's a gig port there. It's kind of dark in here. Um, and then, you know, 48 or, you know, 40 some odd. I think the total is 45. 45 ports are connected up at 100 megs and it's, it's working just fine. Um, and I, I walked away and left this running the other night and all those videos out there were working just fine. Um, and I, I'm still tweaking the, the uh, there is some potential lag and latency between monitors. Um, but I've been toying with this, uh, if I can get it to focus, come on, man. I've been toying with the last part of the line here, the, uh, the buffer size it was on, uh, 12,000 bytes, but now I got it on 20,000. Um, I don't know, but as far as I'm concerned, I like it. And we're going to be opening this club up this room, um, in the next couple of days and we'll see how we can how we fare with yeah now and um if you notice that bottom projector since they're all sideways it's it's sideways you see that so it, it's kind of like this is the top over here and and then that's the bottom if you look over here that's the top and the bottom but then if you can see that it's not one it's not four matrixes. I actually just made that. I actually made those, those over there. I, mo I made those one big wall. So if I wanted to, I could play video from here all the way over to there as one contiguous video. I don't know why I did it that way. I think it was just easier so I didn't have to make four individual matrixes. And then I could put videos anywhere along the four of them if I wanted to. So... There it is. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Reach in the comments below. Thank you so much. Bye.